Well, good morning and welcome to my favourite river, the Thames. Today is my first actual outing on this beach, so uh, I need to get to know the river. So this short video is just to show you how I go about it. My main target here is to catch a big chub. And when I say a big chub, I'm talking six pound plus. In fact, maybe a couple of pound bigger than six. And it's gonna kind of carry me through the whole of this winter. So, as I said, this is my first trip. I'm going back to old school and I'm gonna be fishing by design for them using bread flake, just a little feeder, running line, and I'm gonna be roving around the river all day really, trying out every little feature, every swim I can. And hopefully, if I go home with a bite, a really positive bite, um, I'll be a happy man. If I go back with a fish, well, even, even happier. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't bought a lot of kit. I've got my rucksack. I've got a big unhooking mat because that doubles up as a chair. I don't bring a chair. I'm only going to be spending two, five minutes in a swim. If I don't get a bite, I move on. I've got my landing net, my waterproof, my rucksack with my flask, my scales, my camera, and some liquidized bread and a few slices of flake. So uh, you don't need a lot. Just keep moving around and try and get as many bites as you can. Well, let me just run through the tackle I'm using today. Obviously, I'm roving around, spending no more than about five minutes in a swim. Obviously, uh, bites come pretty quick, so I'm holding my rod all the time. One rod, no room for two here. This is a barbel rod, and I've got a two ounce uh, quiver added. The reason I'm using a rod this powerful is there's some big chub up here, and there's lots of snags. Um, I do like to use a little 11 foot rod down on the rivers like the Loddon, but um, no, we're back up to the bigger, bigger boys here. Main line through is £10. Again, on the lesser rivers like the Kennet and the, uh, Kennet and the Loddon, I'd go down a six, even eight pound line straight through. But here I've got £10 line main, and then I've got a little feeder. It's very important to use the smallest feeder you can to hold bottom. I find the smaller the feeder, the bigger the bite. So obviously if you anchor it there with a four ounce feeder, the bite's gonna be little knocks. Feeders this small, they're like a little tap and then smash it round. And then uh, that's just running on the line because chub hate resistance. And we're down to a quick change bead, about an 18 inch hook link made of eight pound fluorocarbon. And on the business end is a barbless size seven Nash Fang twister. So a big hook, big lump of bread flake pinched on the hook, little bit of liquid dyes in the feeder, cast it out, hold the rod, give it five minutes, move on. Well, I'm only in my fourth swim, new stretch on the flake. Obviously, as I said, you're gonna get a positive response quickly. And I must admit, this is my fourth swim. First swim, I had a chub, only a little swinger. Second swim, nice bite, it was about a 12 ounce roach. And then this swim, I come in, missed two bites, but amazingly put it in. And it's not the biggest chub I've caught, but on a new stretch, trying to suss it out, it's uh, a start. We're getting there, we're learning where the fish are. This swim, definitely come back here again, because I know there's chub that are gonna beat my sort of 7-1 PB through here. Well, as you can see, I'm back at the car now and I've just had four or five hours really enjoyable roving around the river. It's a new stretch, so getting just bites would have been a bonus, but I actually went further and caught a, you know, a fairly decent chub, obviously quite a few pound off my target weight, but at least I've now got a platform to grow on for the coming winter. So uh, I am predicting a really cold winter. There's loads of berries on the tree, lots of slows, red berries, elderberries. We're still very early, as you can see, there's miles too many boats on the river. There's still quite a few anglers about, so um, hopefully 
the next session, which I'm going to leave a couple of weeks, just hopefully we'll get a frost or so, and uh, I'll be back with the bread flake roving around, dropping in that first swim definitely, because uh, normally if you find a, a swim with chub in, that's normally going to produce chub again and again and again there's a reason why they're there so uh, my next job would be come back find a couple more swims hopefully the small fish like the small chub and roach i had today won't be a problem less boats less anglers colder and hopefully when i do get a bite it's going to be from a very very big fish keep in touch subscribe and uh, i will keep you informed on you know which way the journey goes and uh, how my fishing progress is on the, this lovely bit of the River Thames throughout the year.